Ciao ragazzi, un saluto di Inter Worldwide. No colours today, unfortunately, but I will be handing it over to our great team today who is going to preview the Lazio match. The return to club football is upon us. Time to forget about the inferiority uh, that is international football that we all love so much. No thanks. We're back to the real action this week. Back to a huge clash. A six-pointer against Lazio. They're going to be fighting us for that Champions League spot. We need to wrap it up ASAP. No repeats of last season. We've been gifted with this opportunity. And I don't get off that easy. I've got to give you a prediction as well. I think that Agatsi will come good with the return of Marcelo Brozovic. And who knows, we might even see Icardi in there as well. So I predict 2-1 goals to El Toro, Brozovic and... Immobile will probably grab one for Lazio. He always scores against us. I don't, he just always scores. He'll find a way. Anyway, enough from me. Handing it over to the Ragazzi. Bruno first. Ian Kerr second. Leon Rossi third. Ciao. Have a lovely day. Forza Inter. Inter versing the sixth place Lazio. Now, we say sixth place. They do currently have a game in hand with against Udinese. If they win that, they will move to fifth place. But they're sixth. Now, we've faced Lazio two times prior this season. Most recently, we were eliminated by the Coppa, uh, by Lazio in the Coppa Italia via a 1-1 draw, which we lost then on penalties. But, we share a history with this club. Last time we faced Lazio in the Serie A, Inter travelled to Roma and won 3-0 with two goals to Icardi and one to Brozovic in what was a truly dominating performance and you know what it was um a different time back then for inter things have changed and since then lazio have been playing really well they managed to gain consistency and most recently they won 4-1 against parma juxtaposed to inter we actually won 3-2 against Milan in the Derby della Madonnina. Will that favour us? Hopefully. Will that be enough momentum to carry us through um, to victory? I think so. Now, in saying that, we are coming off an international break. So, what can you do here? We're both, both teams got momentum prior to entering the break with both having amazing victories. And then international break just slams a break onto it. But now I'm going to level with you here. I feel like this international break will favor Inter more than Lazio. Why? Lazio will lose the momentum. Inter, on the other hand, though we will be losing the momentum, right? We need to get it over being eliminated from the Europa League. We need to get over being eliminated from the Coppa Italia. And international break is the perfect platform for that we've had many injuries through um as of late and international break will give our players enough time to return to perfect match fitness in saying that my prediction is a 2-0 win to inter why they're coming to the san siro they're playing in our playground we beat them at their home we're not going to let them beat us at ours on top of that our teams should both be fully rejuvenated so I'm telling you if you're gonna watch a match in this round of fixtures you need to watch the Lazio at uh, the Inter Lazio match just want to introduce myself Amy and Kerr from Belfast Northern Ireland I'm president of Inter Club Belfast I'm just doing a video here for Inter Worldwide previewing and giving my prediction for a match against Lazio on Sunday night as for my prediction for the game I think it'll be a 2-1 win for Inter uh, scores Lataro and Vecino with a mobile for Lazio and I'm hoping going into this game that we don't go into it it's starting with the, the lax attitude I'd like this to approach the game the way we did the derby the first 60 minutes of that game we battered them and if we do the same to Lazio we could have the game won by the R mark and Inter should have too much for Lazio, for Lazio side to be quite fair uh, one thing I will discuss is Accardi, um, how his return could affect the situation in the stadium. If he starts the game, I, I can't see it being a good uh, a good atmosphere at all. It's not sending out a good message at all. Uh, whether he gets onto the bench is a mystery because, I don't know, maybe his knee will be sore that day. He has a fake injury, so 
Anyway, I think I'm going to win this match. I think we have too much for Lazio. And for me, Ian, for Inter Worldwide, for Center. Ciao ragazzi, buonasera, buongiorno for everyone in the world. This is Leon checking in for Inter Worldwide, previewing the match versus Lazio on Sunday. Uh, one of the things I want to address is the conspiracy theory about the bribing again versus his old club. Uh, I think that's just what it is, a theory. Um, he's been great for the club. He's been there to play. Uh, there's nothing more to read into it. He picked up a little knock. He'll be out for a week or two and will be coming back again soon. I'm not too worried about it. Um, he's not a number one back. He's a number two back, a very good back at that. But we have Skriniar as our best back and he's one of the best center backs in the world. And he's pairing with Miranda. So I feel that's enough to get the job done versus Lazio. On top of that, we have Rosevitz coming back. El Toro is doing excellent, excellent work at the front line. Um, I, while Lazio is a very good side, you know, they, they are fighting the Europa League spot, also challenging for that final Champions League spot. We have the quality and the depth to pass them. De Vrij is, is going to be a big miss, but I, I, I just don't think, you know, Interesi need to worry about him missing a match because of some some theory that he's not, that he doesn't want to play versus old club. I, I don't think that's an issue at all. Um, I do see a result for us. I see the three points for us. 2-0, um, we're going to keep him out. Hendadovic has been playing excellent for us, absolutely excellent for us. Um, I feel like all his haters and critics have been silenced in the past few weeks based on how well he's playing. Uh, so I think the back line with Skriniar leading it and Hendadovic playing great is going to keep them out of the goal. Uh, and 2-0 with Politano and El Toro scoring the goals. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll talk to you guys next week. Uh, Force Inter.